Gele Gele. Now the County Integrated Development Plan 2023-2027 has been officially launched. Please let's take more photos kindly. Let's take more photos. Let's take more photos kindly. Spare of flex. Let's take more photos. Let's take more photos. Blow some more. We take some more photos kindly. Thank you, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Please be seated. Thank you. We may take our seats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency, I wish to invite the area member of parliament, Honorable Wakili John Makali, to continue with the program. Sir, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My coffee, my coffee, tena. Asante, 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 asante. Afikiri tuendelea mahali tulikuwa mimi. Asante, asante, asante sana. Tuweze kuendelea, tuendelee, tuendelee. Basi nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kwa heshima kuu kumwalika Principal Secretary wetu wa masuala ya ICT Professor Kisiangani. Karibu sana. Tupigie Professor Makofi. Ni kijana wetu wa nyumbani. Tumpigie Makofi tena. Your Excellency, the, the Governor, the Deputy Governor, distinguished members of the County Assembly, members of different committees, professionals around here, distinguished members of Parliament, all protocols observed. I'm honored to be here, and actually more that you have found it necessary to ask me to say one or two words. First of all, I want to to bring greetings from two people who you know very well. His Excellency the President and His Excellency the Deputy President. They really love the people of Bungoma. So I bring those greetings to you and to also say they are part of the development agenda of Bungoma County. The second thing that I want to say is just to my brother Wamboka has left. He actually asked me that whatever I say, you will tell him. I'm a child of this place, and there's nobody who has come to my office wanting to see me. And I've refused to see them. Indeed, if you have count on the on the, on your fingers one to ten, I'm probably the most available PS. I pick calls, I talk to people, but I understand where my brother is coming from. When a governor, you need to. We have to. I think he's lonely, and he needs to join the Nyakwanza. If he does that, he will not say anything. Because the reason why I'm saying that, Malamakari, the governor, the senator, you know, we have held a lot of meetings about Bungoma development with His Excellency, the President. A couple of those meetings have been held in Nairobi. At least one, which is very recent, was held in Eldoret. Jack Wamboka was not there. So I'm sure, Governor, you invited him, but he did not come. 
So unless he comes, he will not understand what we have discussed about in Zoia. I'm sure, Senator, you will find time when you are free to brief these people of ours what we have done about Nzoia Sugar Factory. The President is very, very passionate about Nzoia. The plan is on. What he promised will be delivered. Members of Parliament from this place know what is happening. It's only Jack who doesn't know. There is a huge, huge progress with regard to Nzoia. And now, he said, the President promised, I think you need to tell him to get in touch with the President because he has his phone call, a phone, and he has his number. He's likely to get the answer. But even if he doesn't go that extent, he just needs to talk to the Governor, talk to the Senator, talk to MP Makari, and they will brief him about what's happening. So nobody has forgotten Bungoma. I think there are many other things which you know uh, will happen soon, including the roads. The president has spoken about roads from the road from Misiku to Brekedia. The president has spoken about this Ruahaha road just recently. There is this road from uh, from Skoma going towards uh, Hasoko. All these things are discussed by the leadership of this county and they know where things are. So I'm available and I would still explain what I could, but the government is with the people of Bungoma and we support the governor, we support the leadership of this, uh, this county. Maybe the mutu abukono will rise, but I will keep working with the elected leaders. So what we do as leaders, we must unite people and talk with one voice, especially on matters of development. The second thing that I would like to, to say is the fact that uh, my brother Makari talked about uh, digital hubs. It is true. I am the one of the, the PSS is the Minister of Information, Communication and Digital Economy, but in, in, in charge of the State Department of uh, Broadcasting and Telecommunication. When we held our, uh, our last consultative meeting with the His Excellency the President, I think the matter was raised, and I'm going to carry notes. The President get, told you to get in touch with me. No MP has gotten in touch with me. So, but I will know. I know they are busy, but I would, the answer is very simple. There are enough uh, hubs which are going to be put everywhere in Bungoma. Uh, there was a delay last financial year because we didn't have enough resources. But now I will take the initiative myself to call the MPs. If there has been any misunderstanding over that, so that we arrange how it can be done. But you can see that even at Kibet centers, they are going to be to be to be to, to, be, to set up digital hubs there. One of them, I'm quite involved. I called the, the governor and we agreed on what to do. So I think that is also on course. And what Makari needs to do is just to come and tune me because I I I, I know him. So I, I, he needs to tune me and I'll do the rest. So the the last uh, when the governor, I want to associate yourself with what you, you are doing in the county and support you. I want just to add something, Bwana Governor, which is great. In addition to what you have done, our rivers are dying. So I was suggesting that as we launch this, especially under sustainable development, you try to see in your own capacity how best we can recover rivers. The cultivation has reached the river banks, and many of the rivers are dying. So as part of, part of your program, maybe if we you include that, it will also go a long way in promoting the sustainable development that we are all yearning for. And of course, the government, the county government and the national government are all complementing each other on promoting food security. And I want to lord the people of Bungoma that you did your mandamano in the farms and there is a lot of food and the governor, the challenge you are going to face 
is how now we can preserve this food. God has been very kind to us now. We can see a lot of food around and I think the second planting is just about to kick off. Let us think around the question of how we can make this food uh, safe, kept well, so that it can be consumed when we really need it. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to give many, many, many things, say many things. I love this county. I'll be available and I'll work with everybody here. But I ask you, continue supporting His Excellency, the President and his government, because he means well for our county. He meets our leadership and talks to them and consults them every day. And please, don't tire. We have just organized ourselves, and I think now the remaining part is implementing what we had planned. With our own budget, we think that we are going to achieve a lot of things in the next few years. And with those few remarks, uh, Bwana Governor, I just say thank you very much. I suspect because I don't know whether you want me to, to invite my fellow, uh, my, my fellow peers. Uh, protocol says that since I'm here, I will invite uh, my, my, my fellow peers, Ms. Chara Kutoka Makweni, uh, peers Terry Baika, to come and make her remarks. She's in charge of devolution and she's a member of the executive like myself. She also has a few things to share with you and then we can go back to, to the county leadership. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, P.S. Um, Excellency the Governor, Bungoma County, the Deputy Governor, our members of Parliament present, the Senator, the Speaker, members of County Assembly, and the people of uh, Bungoma County. Good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. My name is Terry Baika, like my colleague Pierre has said, in the office of the President, office of the Deputy President, Principal Secretary in charge of devolution, and I'm happy to be here today. I think it's my second time to be in Bungoma, and Governor is my very good friend. Once again, greetings from His Excellency, the Deputy President, in charge of uh, devolution affairs. We serve under him 